Hi Pipers! Today I want to get you on a walk with me. We're gonna have a little walk here. Look how it's beautiful! We are in the Toscana and I would like to talk about a tobacco that lately, look at, lately in the last videos that I have seen that are around they mistreat it a little bit. So I will take the defense of this tobacco because I think this tobacco needs a little bit of space. So we have to smoke it outside. Look here, the beauty. We have a little bit of frost on this side and we have the sun on the other side. So if you can see this bench over there, I will go there to light up my pouch. Prego, prego. <laughs> and let's have a walk here and talk about the tobacco because it's really sad if you don't, um, if you cannot uh, appreciate this one because I think if a tobacco, if you don't like a tobacco, maybe it's not the tobacco the problem, maybe it's just because you are in the wrong situation, you're in the wrong place, you are, you don't have the right location and this tobacco really really needs space. So it should be smoked outside in the nature. So if you go, if you like fishing and you catch the, the carp of your life or you are, um, you're, you're looking for champignons and you find the biggest one that you can uh, ever get, this one is the right thing to be out here. So you see, I will talk about the Italian Kentucky and the nice thing is about Kentucky, if I would lighten up any of these leaves, the scent will be, it will give you the same impression, you know. Um, the Comune is an Italian Kentucky. Some people also say they don't like the pouch. You know, if you like the pouch or you don't like the pouch, this is just a personal thing. I, pers for example, I like the pouches, you know, for what kind of reason. And I, th I find it also beautiful how it's made. You see like the Italian flag, it takes only a little part and then you would have the complementary colors and they didn't use it so they used blue. And um, you know, Italians a little bit, they get into the fashion, they know how to do that. So I'm, I'm absolutely, I absolutely agree that it's not a pretty boy smoke because it's a little rough but if you can't handle it then uh, don't say the tobacco is not good. So now we are on the sunny side of this place. Let's get back to our frosty space. So we have a little bit of uh, pre-Christmas with frost and with sun, everything what we need. And now we get to my bench and we will open this one and we will have a smoke. So maybe I can get it more tasty for some of the people. So let's see where I can put the camera. So we arrived at my bench and I will smoke it with my Holger pipe. You've already seen that, so we'll get it into the bowl and have a puff together. Let's open the pouch. It's of course sealed, so we open it and if you stick your nose into it, it's, it's really getting you into the smoke, at least for me. I like the cut. It's handy, not too dry, not too moist. So we have it here. We put it inside. So if you're smoking outside, you don't need plates, you don't need to you don't need to 
watch out that something is dropping down. Don't have to clean up afterwards. Perfect. No? Oh, I so needed some sunshine. It's so beautiful. Wow. So now I, I close it immediately that doesn't dry out. This one you're going to smoke, okay? It lightens up nicely. Doesn't burn too quick, doesn't burn too slow. It's just a very, very tasty smoke. Somehow it's like the, the landscape here, you know, you have one puff that is smooth like the sunshine and the next puff is hitting you like the frost. But that's the, the nice thing about it, you know. So I'm, I'm really a little bit sad that in the late last time I heard such bad things about the, com the Kommune. Maybe you think about it, you give it another chance and then while smoking it think about my words. Because if you can't handle it, it's not his fault, right? Stay tuned, subscribe and see you tomorrow guys. Bye!